normally what you would do in a liberating structures gospel is to get you to experience it. But in five minutes, I'm sorry, we just can't do anything. So this is going to be theoretical. I invite you to play around with it. Let's imagine, what are we talking about? Let's imagine a horrible future. By the way, I hope the slides will be made available So, because I'm going to skip quite a few, yeah? So a horrible future where our online world is really terrible like this. We're exhausted, disempowered, etc. because we keep copy pasting our practice from face to face to online thinking is going to be going to work just the same because we're going to act in a static and linear way because change never happens because we're going to keep focusing on very tiny boxes that are completely disconnected from one another because that's just more convenient because we're going to assume our work is anything but complex humans are just robots right because we're just going to let the hippos run the show and the hippos that's the highest paid person opinion. Because we're going to keep it very serious and kill the inner child we have. Never mind. Because we won't pay attention to online fatigue. There's no such thing, right? We don't stack up meeting upon meeting and interaction upon interaction. Not at all. So if we are facing a future where there is no risk, no different voices, no fun, no consideration for others, no adapting to reality, no notice for the powerless, well, not a great future. Is this real? Is any of what I've mentioned happening even remotely? Are we perhaps guilty of some of that? So what? So what can we do? Or so what does it mean, rather? Liberating structures uh, at its simplest could be presented as a set of 33 participation formats, facilitation methods. But really, it's a lot more than that. It's a language unto itself, a language of collaboration. I'm just going to uh, skim through some of the attributes of liberating structures. Actually, I'm going to go to the next slides, illustrating with a different one of these different liberating structures for each of the characteristics. They're expertless. And so the 15% that you see is 15% solutions. It means the solutions you can put in place without any further resources, no additional time or money or capacity or go ahead. You can just do it. It's there. Resource focused. The little symbol there is for Troika Consulting, another structure that helps people in 10 minutes to crack an issue and in 30 minutes to do it for three people. Super nice. And it builds the relations. Rapid cycling. So the idea is not to actually give people a lot of time and to pontificate. It's rather doing very, very short bursts of interactions, possibly repeated. And this one is one, two, four, all. One minute alone, two minutes in pairs, four minutes with two pairs, and then a few minutes for everyone together. They're seriously fun. And you can't quite see what is there, but it's actually a monster. It's drawing your tiny demons. And it's facing the fears that you have deep down in a, in a creative and playful manner. So it's really serious. Yeah, serious stuff, but brought in with a bit of a fun. They're inclusive. 2510 is 2510 crowdsourcing. It's a structure that invites everyone to review crazy ideas from, from anyone in the room and rate them and come up with the best ideas that seem to emerge. They're multi-scale. So what you see here is a symbol for panarchy, which looks at how you think about your activities or your relationships in a dynamic way, but also how it's connected to many levels above your initiative and many levels below. So really even, for instance, thinking about how your body is involved in a particular interaction. There's self-spreading. The symbol here is for impromptu networking. It's a very simple structure. It's basically two people talking about a question for two, three minutes, and then switching with another partner. It's so simple, it can be reciprocated and replicated really quite quickly, very widely also. And they're modular. The, the flame that you see is for a structure called TRIZ, and TRIZ itself uses inside itself one, two, four, all. So you can imbricate a lot of the structures together, combine them, scale them. They're just, there's infinite possibilities with them. Now, what if we use liberating structures? What could happen perhaps? Or what could you do? What could we do? Well, first off, and that's, so regardless of meetings, etc., we can start really thinking about involving everyone and building trust as we go. So it's no longer about the hippo only, but we really make sure that we invite everyone by bringing in individuals
individual reflection. So it's not just the fast thinkers, but everyone that gets an opportunity to think about what is going on. That we also encourage small group interactions. So not always having yeah something in a plenary format where again only the most comfortable speakers are gonna are gonna express themselves. It's about also avoiding to fall into interaction and also reflection groundhog day. So repeating the same type of interaction patterns by using the same formats all over again. And it's really also liberating structures uh, help us think about balancing uh, between some, uh, some, some ways of collaborating that are under controlled think of a, an open discussion if you have it there is just no sorry no control no structure but sometimes you, it really ends up going nowhere because there's just a few people that are animated and no one else and the over controlled like for instance you know if we keep on having just presentations to one another for a very long time where is the space for people to actually engage and participate so challenging us and I'll skip the min spec, but minimum specifications, a great way to come down to the bare essentials of anything you do, really. It's also about cultivating paradox. One thing we can do is do that. Rather than say, it's either this or that, it's saying, how about finding a solution that does and this and that? So for instance, thinking about this online work, how is it that we are spending so much time online and we are still reproducing the same interaction patterns as before. Maybe there's actually some value in, in finding reasons why we need to do that and how we can keep on doing that in productive ways. I mentioned that before, look at your activities dynamically, your activities, your relationships, they have a life cycle of its own. And so this eco-cycle planning, it's another of the structures. And it really invites you to think about okay, how is that activity? Is it at the stage of renewal? Is it just starting as in birth? Is it getting mature? Should we creatively destroy and let go of it? And also think about some traps for where your activities or your relationships are, are stuck indeed. And I know that a lot of it is like very abstract. It's a very, very quick scheming through. But, uh, but yeah, the real final thing is to invite you to have a look and play around. Liberating Structures is copyright free. It's Creative Commons. You're very welcome to have a look at it, play around with it, make it your own, adapt it. Make sure you just, uh, yeah, give, give some credits back where it's due. I'm gonna leave this one at the end. These are the principles, but just so you know, uh, from the slides, you find some links to existing networks, communities that are working with it, including also the app, the website with the different language communities, link to the book, and then there's some immersion workshops that are happening. And I also have, if in case you're interested in some of these immersion workshops, feel free to come back to me. There's a couple coming in April and June. And now leaving you without commenting it with the 10 principles of liberating structures. I think in there again, for just any online work you're doing or offline work, there's a lot to be, well, to be borrowed from. And that's it for today. <laughs> Sorry nah, for the speeding. No, nah, so, super. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for this yeah, quick presentation. We really should have booked you for an hour or for two. Yeah, it is really um, yeah a lot, a lot to 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 see and a lot to think of and a lot to make use of. Fantastic.